I just want to help people and to let them know that he is getting out and he is a sexual predator. Only on 4 tonight, Pittsburgh's Action News full reporter Ashley Zilka speaking exclusively with the McKeesport woman who was held captive and sexually assaulted for 10 years by her school security guard. That man responsible is being released from prison next month. And Ashley, some awfully strong words tonight from the victim, Tanya Cash. Yeah, Mike, you know, Tanya Cash is absolutely devastated. On February 9th, her captor will be a free man after serving his maximum 15 year sentence. But Cash tells me that's not enough and he should be behind bars for life. This nasty, horrible human monster of a person is getting out. You know, he, after what he has done, you know, it, I, it's, I'm scared that he might do it again. Now 40 years old, Tanya Cash tells me she still lives with nightmares from her 10 years in captivity. Every day he threatened to kill me. Every day. As the sentence for Thomas Hose comes to an end, those flashbacks are still raw. Lawrence Fisher, attorney and co-author of a memoir of a milk carton kid, says Tanya's case was the first and only time he has ever represented a victim. I've had many a client you know, do the crime and do the time. Victims don't necessarily get to move on with their lives. And, you know, I think that Tanya is pretty remarkable, but she still feels the scars. In 1996, Cash was lured away from home by Hose, a security guard at her middle school in McKeesport. She was 14 at the time. Hose was 38. He groomed me into running away with him. Locked away on the second floor of the house, Ho shared with his parents. Tanya was forced to use a bucket as a toilet. She even recalls spending four years in a closet on Christmas Eve. At one point, she even wrote a will. I slipped it under the rug. Why? And I put, Tanya was here because I thought I was going to die. In 2000, Tanya says Ho's allowed her to leave the house for short periods of time. Tanya Cash was dead. He invented Nikki Diane Allen. And I had a whole new identity, so I didn't know who I was anymore. Then in March 2006, Tanya escaped, confiding in a local deli owner who called police. Through all of these years, though, I've become very resilient. You know, I'm not just a victim. I am a survivor. I survived him. Hose was eligible for parole in 2012, but he was denied. Fisher says that alone was unusual. So after his fifth year, if he had... Um, you know, shown remorse, if he had rehabilitated himself, he would have been allowed to come back out into the community. Now, after 15 years, Hose will walk out of prison in exactly four weeks, a day Tanya dreads. I, I know that I'm going to wake up crying, very upset. But it's also a day she wants parents to know about. Because once he's out, it's not such a safe world anymore. Hose is 64 years old right now, and now is for February 9th when he is released. He will have to register as a sex offender. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Zilka, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.